the journey. We must be called these people. There is no way. I mean, no other way. Only one way. We must be called my people. And then the church began. Yeah, you understand? Where are you people? The fire of the Lord. Ah, people, forgive me for my sins. <laughs> you people, you are blessed that you can preach every Sunday. Me along for a church to preach, I can't. I cannot. Always in the house, just praying and praying for the churches. Eh? Eh? Now we found out. I found it. Now I found it. I found out that actually there is a book. And the question then becomes, I want to begin with you another journey. We inside the journey. The question then becomes, which book is this? And where is it? And if we can find it, if we can lay our hands on that book, then we can search for our names. <laughs> you people, you love the Lord. Uh, forget about me, me, I love him. Hmm? I love him, I weep for him. And then he says, I want us to find out which book is this he's talking about. So let us begin the journey. Let us find out which book is this. And where is it? Hallelujah. How many until now? Easy. How many until now? Understand what I'm talking about. Huh? And you see, precious people. Without, I don't want to waste your time. Because my journey is long. We have a long journey. I have a long journey with you. And in this journey I said, we shall lay down, spell out, illustrate, exposition, expose, list down the character. <laughs> he loves it. The identity, the specific identity, specific. Something you can lay your hand on, no, I got it. Specific, something I can lay my hand on, no, that I got it today. You see that? Of my people. And the first thing I found out is that there is a book. And your name must be found written in that book. And now, I want to walk with you. As for me, I have some few questions still disturbing me that I must clear before I go to the book. Because when he talks about my people, he's saying that there will be mayhem. Huh? There will be chaos. Huh? There will be tempest. Huh? There will be confusion, destruction. But therein, he said, but my people, I will save. So I, I know that I want to go because I've already opened for you the first character. The first property, the first identity say that there is the book. The name must be found written in the book. But for you to understand the advantage, the gravity, the power. Somebody who is wise is writing every word of my tongue. Somebody who is wise is not going to lack words because they're all there. Every, I said the gravity, the authority, the power to understand the gravity, the authority, the power of being my people. First of all, let's understand what type of distress is the Lord talking about here. Yeah, because then if it is something not worth being delivered from, then again, being my people is nothing. Huh? Somebody understood me. He said, if it is something small that's not worth being delivered from, well, then there's no greater advantage of being my people. He's telling them that, isn't it? Yes. So let us see. What is the distress? What nature of distress? How does God define that distress? Is it a death and life situation where we must now be subdued to be my people? What kind of distress? 
So turn with me before we get to the second character. Turn with me, precious people. Turn with me right now. The book of Matthew. I said Matthew. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Matthew 24. Hallelujah. Amen. I said 24. Turn with me to Matthew 24 that we understand, we may understand this distress. Which type of distress? Matthew 24, verse 20 or 22. And this is what he says. Hmm? Am I wasting someone's time? Oh. I've not seen anyone check their watch right now yet. Because no. <laughs> I'm um, sensitive, I will just run away from that one. Because you know, I know that the Lord has not allowed me to do this. But the reason he has given this grace to do this, is because there's so much at stake for the church right now. Yes. Right now, it has to happen right. Yes. Because this is the finale, the grand finale. Yes. This last game must be played very strict and straight. You see that? Yes. And right. Because otherwise then we don't have a window, another generation to prepare this. You see that? Matthew 24. Uh, 24. Beginning from verse 20. Somebody, are you there? Okay, no. You are worth fighting for. Let me, let me mess up myself with politicians. Allow me to save Kenya. Allow me. For this one, I need to. Because it will look ugly. This is the revival again has killed people there. It will, it will be difficult. So turn with me, precious people. Matthew 24. Verse 20 to 22. I said 20 to 22. <laughs> you understand? Eh? <laughs> the fire. Pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on Shabbat, on the Shabbat. For then there will be great distress and equal. From the beginning of the world until now. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you hear that? Yes. Tell, listen, listen. You did not hear. <laughs> you understand that part, eh? We have to, no, you did not hear. You did not hear. Just let, let me, I heard it. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. He says this. That when God says something once. Huh? Catch that thing. That thing is of gravity. Words like this. Catch that thing. But when the Lord. When the Lord says something twice in the Bible. Ha <laughs> ha. Please catch that thing. Life and death. And I said my assignment tonight. Is to make sure that by the end of this sermon. He has capped off. Eh? Yes, yes. By the end of this sermon. Each one of you. Can, can do like this. Ta, 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 ta. Tell me, you ta, 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 eh? <laughs> you understand? Tell me what are the qualities of my people? One, two, three, four, five, six. And use it to measure himself. Say, I need to work on me. Or I am my people. Yes. Is it? That is my work. And, they say, and now he says, Daniel says, like has not happened from the beginning of time, the beginning of nations. Somebody didn't hear me. Which means, take height, take economic crisis, take depression, take tsunami Japan, combine them together, has not yet happened. Where? Everybody say, where? Then that distress, I don't want. Then in that distress, I want to be my people. He you understand that? Huh? Hmm? He says, yeah? and never to be equaled again. Listen to me, somebody. I don't have time to dwell on this. Did you hear what he just said? Yes. Did somebody hear what he said? Yes. He's now telling them, I don't have time to dwell on this. I am heading somewhere with you. I am heading somewhere. But this was just a by the way that we may understand the gravity of being counted among my people. From the ugliness of the distress, he said, 
I must be my people. I don't have time, but let me explain this to you. If you understood well, he's saying, don't do it in the winter. It is like this. He's saying, he's saying, don't do it in the winter because it's too cold. You may not run too far. Where? Meaning that this stretch will cry that require that you really go away if you can. Ah, too cold. You know the way it's cold in the winter. Some of you may not understand, but in the winter when you step out, it's minus twenty. And your bones feel the cold. It's eating the bone. The nose is dead. The fingers are dead. He said, don't do it. Don't. And he says, he says, don't. Don't try. He says, neither should you try it on Shabbat. Because on Shabbat, you're only allowed to walk for three quarters of a mile. Not more. Not allowed. He said, don't do it on those two occasions. It'd rather be a sunny day that you may run very far. You say, now turn to me, precious people. Focus on me. I have to summarize this first. You see, focus on me now. You see? Now look here. He has said the following. He has said that there is a book. That's number one. And your name must be found written in that book. Hallelujah. And I took you a little bit aside here to, to explain to you the kind of distress that warrants salvation. Hallelujah. Blessed are those who write everything. Because one day, you'll wake up and find he has taken me away. Away. You say, wow, where did he go to? And you check the whole earth, I'm not there. Look. So we have found that there is a book. I am going to go back there. And I have one task. Just one like this. I have one task. When I go back there, my task will be to find out which book is he talking about. Hallelujah. He said, for that matter, turn with me to Revelation chapter 21. Hallelujah. So Hebrews, uh, I mean, Revelation 21. I say it, Revelation 21. Write every scripture I give you. Because I must open it up. I must. We must open it up today and find out, are we really my people? Revelation 21. Let me find it also myself. And in my title, because the, the, some titles of the Bible, uh, some Bibles have title. Hmm? In my title, then it, I don't know which Bible you are reading. <laughs> you understand that? Eh? <laughs> but mine, you see, because you can only talk about his. Eh? In, my, in mine, when, 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 when he reaches chapter 21, now he puts a title. And he says, The New Jerusalem. Hallelujah! <laughs> you can't read it. Too much fire. Did you hear what I heard? As we are beginning to go find out which book are the names of my people written in. Look. Title. The New Jerusalem. <laughs> Something tells me that my people, they will live in this city. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the church will clap. You see that? Because you're opening for them the Bible. The Bible is not necessarily reading. Even seeing is revelation. The word of God is rich and powerful. If you're just looking, you get revelation. I can see now. Huh? He says, the title says, The New Jerusalem. And when I look at the New, stand, new American Standard says, the new heaven and earth. Hallelujah. So when I look at that title, and inside there, I want to find out the book. Then I already understand one plus one equal to two. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? You're telling them, I already understand that one plus one equal to two. Meaning if I add the dots of New Jerusalem title and the book inside that chapter, then these people will live there. <laughs> you understand? They are inhabitants. They are the inhabitants of the New Jerusalem. And I'm very happy Kehancha is here. I've been longing to see you people here. Yes. Because I want Nyeri, what, what, the far Meru, you know. That's why he said one seat, allocate one seat for each year. So we may do sessions. For the, so the word is across the country. Commander Nairobi nakula sana. Nataku chika mkona yake kwa sana hivi. Tosha. Tosha. You are Nakuru, there's no problem. <laughs> he says, the new Jerusalem. So precious people, right now, let us begin a journey within a journey. The book. To find out which book is this one. Can we lay our hands on it? And as he begins, to talk about the book and the things surrounding the book. Turn with me to verse 3. <clears throat> Revelation 21 verse 3. Somebody, are you there? He said, Amen. He says, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men. And he will live with them. Hallelujah. They will be his people. And God himself will be with them. And be their God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Have you seen that? On our way. Did you, did you see the way he did? Yeah. He did like this. Huh? You understand? Mm. Huh? Yes. You see? Because even teachers of schools, they go for, they, they are taught how to teach. Yes. How to emphasize points. Yes. And how to, you know, to present subjects and messages, the, 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 the topics. How much more than in the spirit to teach this church? Yes. That when you teach this, hey, because that message is full of fire from beginning to end. Yes. Have you noted that? Yes. It's just fire, 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 too much fire. And he said, you are telling them, on our way, on our, on our way to find out which book, what book is he talking about? He's already talking about my people. Hallelujah. You're telling them. You see how much he's fond of them. How much he loves them. And he says, when it comes, my people, I find a second identity. Second marker. Hallelujah. I am talking about the second feature of these people. And he says, look at this somebody. He says, that when it comes to my people, when he finds my people, when he finds, he has carved them out. When he finds my people, and he says, that when he has carved out my people, then he says, now the dwelling of God is with man. Amen. Did somebody understand that? Yes. Write it down, somebody. <laughs> he says, that when he finds my people, then he makes a declaration. Now he says, he says, now the dwelling of God is with man. Hallelujah. And he says, and he shall live among them, and they will live with him, and you'll be their God. And they will be his people. What is he saying, somebody? You're asking them. Listen to me, somebody. In other words, he's saying that the second identity is that my people are the people among whom Jehovah, the Lord, he dwells. Amen. Church, allow me to 
ask you a question. Did you answer? I hope you're writing this very, this very critical. Church, I must ask you a question. Just one I must ask. I have no choice but to ask this. In your worship, huh? praising, service, prayer, church, does God dwell among you? Hallelujah. Because it says, when he dwells among them, they shall be my people. <laughs> Let us take a short break. I'll come back to explain.